before start please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and share this video at your social media and if you have any question or inquiry you can write it down there in the comment section or contact me directly at my instagram so to learn about the visa policy of ghana just first click over this link over here this page will appear in front of you and will show you the visa policy map of ghana and you can see that there are some countries that can travel to ghana without any need for any visa mostly african countries and here is a list of all these countries that doesn't need any visa for traveling to ghana for the rest of the world you can see that almost all the african uh, countries except Morocco can travel to Ghana and obtain the visa on arrival for the rest of the world uh, North America South America Europe Asia uh, Australia all these countries all the gray area countries you will have to obtain a visa from the embassy before traveling to Ghana so in order to fill the visa application form for Ghana you have to fill it uh, electronically through the uh, website of uh, the Ghana embassy inside your country for example uh, here we have two websites but I opened uh, three the website of Ghana embassy in Cairo the website of Ghana embassy in India and the website of Ghana embassy in the United States if you are applying from Egypt for example and you just need to uh, search for the embassy of Ghana in your country go to the website here for example if you're applying from Egypt you go to for uh, the consular services and you click apply online okay and check the visa steps here they are like uh, describing everything for you and then click continue if you want to start your application okay and those are the countries that need, can apply through uh, the embassy of Ghana in Egypt then just click yes and start filling this application if you are applying from India for example you can just uh, go for apply for visa okay then click continue and here choose your visa apply visa click here choose which visa tourist short stay visa click here and here are the basic informations okay New Delhi for example okay then click next and then they will give you some regulations before finishing the application if you are applying and even they're giving you all as uh, a fees if you're applying from the United States go here for this section and go to the visa application go to visa application okay you want the language will be in English your residents of United States you can also apply if you are from Mexico Marshall Islands Honduras Guatemala El Salvador Belize uh, Costa Rica United States okay then click continue and here they are giving you okay proceed I have read of course if you want to go for the fees those are the fees the payment methods you can find all uh, you can find a card payment at the counter or online payment proceed with the visa application and you can choose individual visa application and here you have all these steps to fill you can just start filling you have to remember that this is not an online visa you are just making the application form online but you still have to go to the embassy and to submit your application to the embassy along with all the required uh, documents so let me show you how to fill this visa application form if you are applying from the United States so I'm reminding you again this is just a demonstration of how to apply for this visa from from the United States but the same process you can do if you're applying from India or if you are applying from Egypt or if you are applying from any uh, European country or any other country you just go to the website of Ghana uh, in your country or the nearest country that uh, has uh, an, an embassy of Ghana and here let's just fill it together your passport type is ordinary 
passport okay your resident of united states visa type single nationality you are let's say that american usa citizen of united states American nationality at birth okay American other nationality there is no other nationality processing office okay Washington DC service type okay standard service mode of submission counter service you will submit at the counter you can also submit it, uh, all the documents by the post you can also here check for the appointment dates this is the valid appointment this is your slot in the appointment date your first name surname email you can contact you uh, communication by email mobile number okay enter your phone number okay confirm mobile number okay and here writes your email confirm email personal information title last name okay other name male marital status single profession or occupation whatever your occupation is date of birth month whatever place of birth travel documents travel purpose details temporary tourist visitor duration of stay in weeks let's say three weeks okay okay date of departure let's say this date from this month from this year uh, mode of journey by air do you have return ticket i will say yes you can write your return ticket here and it's good always to have a return ticket the number of the ticket date of last visit to ghana okay it doesn't exist financial mode i will say I will fund myself by cash and card financial means at applicate applicants uh, disposal okay please enter the value in US dollars okay let's say okay next date of departure should be date okay next okay then moving to step number two okay now your reference number is generated write here your passport number place of issue date of issue all the details and expiry date okay travel history have you ever visited Ghana no have you ever been refused to Ghana no have you ever been refused to in entry to Ghana okay have you ever been deported from Ghana? Have do you have a criminal record in Ghana? No. Do you suffer from mental disorder? No. Do you suffer from any communicable disease? No. Then click next. Contact information. Okay, your address line. City. State okay and here give a phone number okay 
code the mobile number is required email okay mailing address okay it is the same as resident address and business work address in your country you can choose not applicable if you're unemployed or self-employed okay name and physical address of reference hotel in Ghana okay the name of the hotel building number okay telephone let's say that could example one two three four and that's it name of physical address hotel in uh, Ghana name of employer in Ghana I have only one reference so I will see then I'll click next okay so this part so I will I will write the same thing the same reference since it is the same hotel then I'll choose next step number four host in Ghana okay sponsor if sponsor is the same as applicant organization so you have to write the name of a host I have no host but I will write the same of my hotel again first name last name host address you can just write here the name of the hotel city okay Ghana GPS address you can get it from Google Maps phone number whatever the code of Ghana is mobile number email okay sponsor of the trip I have no sponsor okay uh, application completed by another person not applicable okay those are uh, that documents that you will have to submit at the mission you just need to review it duly completed application form one recent passport size photograph appropriate fees valid passport invitation letter or confirmed hotel booking valid Ghana identification host prefer so you need a host okay confirmed hotel booking can be used also all right so that's why we give uh, the host details in uh, in we we'll repeat it in this host section so the confirmed hotel booking can be used and under uh, and undertaking that the host will ensure that the visitor complies fully with immigration laws of Ghana okay resident visa for non-US passport hostel holders no okay copy of biodata pages of the passport okay valid fully vaccinated COVID-19 certificate okay then click next all right which feels all right sponsor of the trip so the sponsor is myself and okay phone number then click next 
and here okay this is a declaration section and payment option online payment or card payment at the counter say okay payment method by visa card then okay then upload documents here is a section where you can upload all these documents like invitation letter confirm it uh, confirm it hotel booking valid gather identification host or a confirmed booking hotel can be used also one recent passport size photograph an undertaking copy of the biodata fully vaccinated covid19 certificate and once you are done you just click submit okay some mandatory data so speaking here about the documents because i didn't upload the documents but once you upload the documents and you submit a page will be generated a payment page will be generated so you can pay for uh, the visa and then you will have to visit the embassy uh, at the specified date that you uh, selected and you submit all the required documents as we mentioned and once you submit it you will have to wait for the for the decision to be told if your visa is accepted or rejected and this is how you apply from the website of the uh, uh, Ghana Embassy in the United States you can do the same thing of course if you're applying from India okay or if you are applying from Egypt or if you are applying from any country the first document that you will need for your visa application is your passport make sure that your passport is valid at least for six months and at least two pages uh, are there are empty for stamps and your photo and your details in your passport are clear you will need also photocopies of your passport at least make sure you have three photocopies sometimes they require only a photocopy of the data pages but sometimes you will need also to photocopy the stamps pages and the other visas you have in your passport you will also need to submit personal pictures make sure that your picture is new not older than six months with a white background unless uh, the embassy or the visa office tell you something else and with clear face details you will also need a visa application form this visa application form could be filled and submitted online other visa application form uh, could be filled on computer then printed and signed and other visa application form uh, need to be filled manually all depend on your destination and the type of the visa you're applying for you will also need to submit a proof of status if you are an employee then you will need to bring an HR letter from your company and this HR letter uh, should be signed and stamped with all the details of your company and your position in the company and stating your salary as well if you are a business owner then you need to submit all the documents that you have that can prove that you own a business if you are a student then you will need to ask your university to give you an admission letter if you're a minor then your father and mother your parents should be approving your travel by giving you uh, a letter signed by them if you are jobless then try to approve your uh, means of, uh, of, of of funds sometimes you will need to provide a proof of legal status if you are applying from another country than your main country of nationality uh, in that case you either need to submit a valid visa of this company of this country or uh, a proof of legal uh, residency in this country you will need also to submit a bank statement as a proof of funds it should cover the last six month uh, movement of your account and it should be signed 
and stamped by your bank number eight is your flight reservation it should be around the trip and some countries require you to submit a confirmed ticket and for others it would be okay to submit a dummy ticket and i will teach you how to make both of them the confirmed ticket and the dummy ticket number nine is your travel accommodation or the booking of your hotel sometimes it's required to be confirmed and sometimes it's okay to be an initial booking and sometimes some countries require you that this booking should cover at least a third of your trip number 10 is your travel insurance and remember it's not always necessary and uh, it could be made from a verified platform or office uh, acknowledged by uh, the country you are traveling to and it should cover uh, your whole trip and sometimes it's required to submit a travel insurance that covers a year and uh, it's minimal uh, it, the minimal coverage should be at least 30,000 euros remember that before applying for the visa you will need to contact the embassy or the application office and ask them about if there is any change in the documents or if there is any special documents required from you because sometimes documents are different from a country to another